Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll be looking at our third um, machine learning pipeline task, which is data pre-processing and feature engineering. And we will also be looking at our fifth um, TFX pipeline component, which is transform. So what is this transform component? So let's go to the documentation and it says um, the transform component performs feature engineering on TF examples emitted from example gen. So from this statement, you know that the transform component takes um, the output of example gen and also emits and then it will emit its own um, output or artifact. And also it uses the data schema by schema gen, right? So um, if you look at the configuration, it says once your pre-processing function is written. So this from this statement, we know that we need to have some pre-processing function, which is a Python file. And then we feed that pre-processing function to the transform component. So the pre-processing function will contain our feature engineering um, tasks or what we need to do, right? So let's go ahead and then start writing our pre-processing function so um, just to um, go over our task so our we want to um, perform or build a model that will tell us whether a movie review is positive or not so let's go back to our TF examples where we have our reviews and then we have our sentiment of um, negative review or positive reviews. Um, so let's look. T let's just take a look at this um, review over here. So um, how do we um, pre-process um, this um, text over here to make it more meaningful? So there are a couple of things that we can do when it comes to pre-processing for natural language processing. So the first thing is obviously um, everything has to be uh, in lower case or upper case like they all have to be in the same case. So because um, this written in upper case and this written in lower case have the same meaning. They don't really um, offer different meanings in, in natural language processing so all the text should have to, the other text have to be in the same case so the first thing is we would have to change all this to lower case so after changing this to lower case um, can you think of anything else we can do so um, yeah you can pause the video and then think of other things that um, we can do to 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 make to pre-process our text and to make it more meaningful to our model. Um, so one other thing we can also do is to remove these um, line breaks because um, yeah, they don't offer any um, meaning to our text. Um, if I want to see whether this movie is positive or if this review is positive or not, I don't need to know um, these line breaks. They don't really have offer any um, meaningful um, say semantic to our text so we can remove um, these line breaks and um, there is one other thing we can also do um, so let's go back to so let's look at yeah so you have some um, abbreviations here right you have some um, abbreviations like ow, um, wasn't, ow, um, yeah, so that also needs to be taken care of. Um, in, in our um, natural language processing task for um, for text um, classification and for sentiment analysis so um, yeah these these abbreviations um, 
this is I will so it's just been switched into I'll I mean um, yeah they can this auxiliary verbs can be um, removed they don't really offer um, any um, sentiment to our um, text but stuff like um, shouldn't which um, has been abbreviated to NT let me see if there is any of that over here um, there isn't but I'm sure there is something like that in the text so that can be changed to not right because um, not negates the, the whole like here yeah, wasn't we can change it to was not so yeah um, and then there is something else which is um, normally done for natural language processing that's the removal of um, stop words so stop words um, are words that don't really change the meaning of our um, review so something like um, pronouns like I, me, myself, we, our, ours um, some verbs like do, um, did and some some articles like uh, and, the, and, but, if, or, because so all these stop words don't really um, change the meaning of our word of our, of our sentence so that can also be removed um, we are doing um, all these preprocessing just to um, reduce the dimensionality of our data some of our of the text are really long so it's just easy to preprocess um, some of these um, do some of these feature feature engineering and data preprocessing just to reduce the dimensionality of our data all right so um, yeah you can just have a look at um, some of the things that you think can be done to this text um, that would not really change the meaning of the text and also but still when you read it you can uh, it will still offer you meaning um, as to um, what you, you want to talk about. Obviously punctuations should also be removed because they don't um, really change the meaning of the sentence, right? So um, yeah, we'll continue in our next video. Um, we'll start writing um, the preprocessing function in our next video. So keep watching.